हेलो एवरीवन दिस वीडियो इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू आर वीडियोस ऑन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड कवर्ड ऑल द टॉपिक्स अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हार्ट सर्कुलेशन डायस्टॉल सिस्टॉल लब डब इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डबल सर्कुलेशन बिकॉज दैट वॉज लेफ्ट एंड देन वील टॉक अबाउट द ब्लड वेसल्स प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड यू विल गेट मेनी क्वेश्चन विच विल बी आंसर्ड इन द वीडियो ऑल्सो आई विल बी साइमल्टेनियसली टेलिंग यू विच क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट so let's just not waste time and start double circulation first of all we had already discussed about circulation so so i'll not make the structure of heart here i'll make a very important diagram which many a times come as structural um question if suppose we take this as heart fine here we mark it as body and these are the three parts which are required when we talk about circulation of blood so what did i tell you when we were talking about circulation that the blood or deoxygenated blood is collected from the body and it reaches the heart ab dekho heart ko thoda sa aur main modify kar deti hu and i'll divide it into chambers fine that will be easy understanding so uh, i told you right side of your body will be right so this will be right auricle this will be right ventricle left auricle and left ventricle so now all the deoxygenated blood which type of blood is this this is deoxygenated blood is picked up by which blood vessel if you remember it is picked up by vena cava and is passed into right atrium from right atrium the blood moves into left ventricle and it passes through valves which are known as tricuspid valves after this movement the blood is now from left ventricle it is picked up by a blood vessel known as if you remember it is pulmonary artery so this blood which is deoxygenated blood is passed into the lungs by pulmonary artery lungs mein the process of oxygenation takes place and the blood is moved back into the heart so what happens now oxygenation ke baad the blood uh, moves into the left atrium from the lungs the blood moves into the left atrium by which blood vessel that's known as pulmonary vein and which type of blood is this this is oxygenated blood ओके अच्छा लेट्स जस्ट मेक द एरोज थोड़ा और कंफ्यूजन कम हो जाएगा आई विल मेक डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड वाले एरोज विद ब्लू फाइन एंड दैट दस विद ग्रीन बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव रेड हेयर ओके सो एंड द ब्लड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट एट्रियम विल नाउ मूव इन टू लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल एंड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल द ब्लड विल बी पास इन टू द बॉडी बाय aorta and which type of blood is this this is oxygenated blood fine so now you can clearly see waha heart mein thoda mushkil hota hai samajhna but here you can clearly see that one cycle is being formed here and the other one is formed here so that means the blood is moving two times into the heart one it is moving from the body into the heart and another it is moving from lungs into the heart so that is why we call the circulation of blood through the heart as डबल सर्क्यूलेशन वाई बिकॉज द ब्लड मूव इन टू द हार्ट ट्वाइस टू कंप्लीट वन राउंड कई बच्चे लिखते हैं ब्लड मूव टू द हार्ट ट्वाइस बट दैट्स इट नो यू हैव टू राइट टू कंप्लीट वन राउंड अदरवाइज आपका आंसर इनकम्प्लीट है सो द ब्लड मूव टू द हार्ट ट्वाइस टू कंप्लीट वन राउंड दैट्स नोन एज डबल सर्क्यूलेशन नाउ As you can see, two cycles are formed. Name kya hai unke? So one is pulmonary circulation, and the other one is systemic. Ab yahan bache wala systematic. No, it's systemic circulation. Fine. So pulmonary circulation plus systemic circulation collectively form. double circulation if someone asks you what is pulmonary circulation so pulmonary circulation is pulmonary which is related to lungs systemic body fine so when the blood moves from heart to lungs and lungs to heart 
that cycle is known as pulmonary circulation and when the blood moves from body to heart and heart to body again that cycle is known as systemic cycle that's why we call the circulation of blood inside the body as double circulation this was your double circulation this diagram can also come in your paper very very important let's move to blood vessels now blood vessels very important there are how many types of blood vessels there are three types of blood vessels one i'm sorry okay one artery two vein and three i'll write like this only capillary okay so uh, we have arteries veins and capillaries now here i'm not making lines i'll just make arrows and simultaneously write inko thoda niche le aate hain just to make it symmetrical one is artery vein okay so here i want to clarify one thing i told you that the blood moves by vena cava into the heart uh fine and i told you that vena cava is the largest vein ab एक छोटा सा डायग्राम यहाँ पे बनाएंगे थोड़ी क्लैरिटी आने के लिए लेट्स जस्ट मेक इट लेट्स जस्ट मेक सम स्पेस हियर एंड ओके ठीक है अब ध्यान से देखो इफ दिस इज एन ऑर्गन और इस ऑर्गन से वी हैव टू कलेक्ट डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड सो व्हाट विल हैपन फाइन ब्लड वेसल्स आर सराउंडिंग दिस ऑर्गन and are coming out of it and then they join in to form a thoda sa large blood vessel then this there are many ab bahut sare organs hain to is tarah se bahut sare uh, are coming out and then are making now these after reaching to a certain distance they will also combine and form a one large blood vessel listen carefully this large blood vessel i'm now i'm talking when the organ from where the blood vessels are coming out i'm talking about so this largest one is vena cava then agar hum organ se lete hain organ se the fine uh, blood vessels which come out are known as capillaries fine or inko hum bolte hain venules because they are coming out then they join in to form vein and finally vein end up in vena cava this is the sequence when the blood vessels are going to the heart moving coming back from from the heart so aorta is bringing the blood to the body aorta it bifurcates into large number of arterioles at one point of time bahut sare arterioles mein it bifurcates and then when these arterioles they start reaching the organs they cannot go around the organs because they are thick as compared to capillaries so this is an organ here the blood supply has to reach so many fine blood vessels will come out and uh, go around the uh, organ which are known as capillaries these capillaries which are arising from artery are known as arterioles then we have arteries then we have aorta fine so why i have told you this because there is a confusion sometimes bachcho ko samajh hi nahi aata capillaries kya hai capillaries is nothing new the capillaries which arise from veins are known as venules capillaries which arise from arteries are known as arterioles fine capillaries are the finest blood vessels which pass the blood into the various organs or parts of the body kyun kyunki ye veins aur arteries thick hote hain they cannot move everywhere in the body so har part mein pahunchne ke liye usko aur fine hona padta hai and those fine blood vessels are known as capillaries i hope this concept is clear to everyone i'll make the arrows also so that the things are clear uh, i'm sorry this arrow will go out it's vena cava here and it is coming inside okay now let's move to the blood vessels one by one artery <coughs> we'll start with the structural differences first artery or you can say we'll start with the function or that's um, quick and easy arteries carry oxygenated blood 
veins carry deoxygenated blood capillaries carry both fine here you need to write capillaries from artery are arterioles very important very very important capillaries from veins venules naam alag alag hai because they are arising different but they are collectively known as capillaries next next is uh, uh, next we move to uh, one more difference which says that arteries carry blood away from heart away from heart except pulmonary artery because that is no i'm so sorry yes except kuch nahi aayega all the arteries they carry the blood away from the heart fine d and veins they bring the blood to heart blood to heart capillaries again they do both they are around theek okay? hai then next we move to structural differences arteries are thick have thickest walls veins have thin walls and capillaries very very important one mark question they have one celled walls i'll tell you why i'll give you the reasons ab ye teeno one mark mark question hai one mark one mark one mark why arteries have thickest walls because blood moves with a very very high pressure in the arteries in order to sustain that pressure their wall is very thick due to high blood pressure why the walls of veins are thin because they are just taking the blood to the heart so it's flowing very smoothly koi pressure nahi hai so the wall is thin because unko zarurat hi nahi hai sustain karne ke liye so blood pressure is less why capillaries are one celled very important because they have to undergo diffusion around the organs what all useful substances are coming inside from arter or aorta oxygen oxygen is coming no so that has to diffuse into the ab agar if they are they'll not be fine they'll not be able to diffuse the substances so that's why they are one cell thick all are one one mark questions next arteries they do not have valves in them veins have valves i'll tell you one mark again capillaries no valves why veins have valves present in them to prevent the back flow of blood ab एक जगह और किया हमने ये ट्राई बाइकस्पिड वैल्व सेमिल्यूनर वैल्व सो कहीं पे भी वैल्व्स आर देयर दे प्रिवेंट द बैक फ्लो ऑफ द ब्लड सो वेन्स आल्सो ब्लड इज फ्लोइंग स्मूथली सो वो पीछे भी जा सकता है सो दैट्स व्हाई इट प्रिवेंट्स द बैक फ्लो ऑफ द ब्लड देन आर्टरीज दे हैव अ नैरो ल्यूमेन वेन्स हैव अ वाइड ल्यूमेन and arteries they are one cell thick so we won't be talking about lumen what is it again one mark question let me make the structure first suppose this is an artery i'll talk about their walls also this is a vein and this is a capillary which is just one cell thick only made up of one cell fine now here lumen is the opening from where the blood is flowing it is wide in case of veins it is small in case of arteries why because here also arteries they are have to create that pressure so that's why the veins have arteries have very narrow lumen to create that pressure or keep that pressure balanced veins they don't have so unka is uh, high talk now we'll talk about the muscular layers very very important the layer around the lumen this layer first layer is known as endothelium endothelium it is the same for both layers dono ki they have same name endothelium so 
sometimes they ask you what is the layer of the uh, this thing known as blood vessels known as it's endothelium okay then we have the other layers uh, they have there are three uh, layers of muscles around the uh, uh, blood vessels fine so this is how we differentiate between arteries veins and capillaries their functions we have talked about double circulation as well fine so uh, here we have uh, sometimes uh, children ask lymph kyun nahi banaya tissue fluid kyun nahi banaya so i'll just quickly tell you tissue fluids are the ones tissue fluid is the fluid which is present uh, in and around the tissues fine cells are made up of tissues to hamare body mein is full is uh, you know it's head to toe there are tissues so inter -tish, uh, tissue fluid is the fluid uh, surrounding the tissues and lymph is a fluid which is flow which is flowing in a separate uh, uh, system known as lymphatic system and in that lymphatic system lymph flows lymph has large amount of wbcs present in it and uh, uh, these wbcs again they fight against the disease causing germs they have wbcs they do not have rbcs that's why they are whitish in color lymph is white in color it's not uh, red in color so or kabhi bhi lymph jo hai does not flow in the circulatory artery vein or capillary mein nahi flow karta it flows in lymph channels or you can say lymphatic vessels and the system is known as lymphatic system so this is it this completes your circulatory system in our next video we will be starting with the excretory system so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you